Hello, I'm Sunny Williams. I'm up here on the International Space Station. <laughs> We're going into the Russian segment. Be ready. You don't need a passport either. It goes a lot farther back than this. Uh, we'll go take a trip and say hello to the boys down there in just a minute. Well, let's do that first, actually, and then we'll go down to the Soyuz at the very end. This is Yevgeny. Hi. <laughs> Doing a little tour. <laughs> this is the FGB, and what's cool about this module, it is actually the very first piece of the space station that came up in 1998. The space station has been around for about now um, manned for 12 years, but it's been up in space for about 14 years. And this was the very first. It is like the Russians' PMM. It has a lot of storage, as you can see. So here we are in the heart of the space station, really. This is the service module. This is the central post. In case we had any problems, I know one, a couple of the questions were about what type of things do you have to worry about. And some of the things we have to worry about in space are fire, if we had a fire, if we had a depressurization, like we were hit by a micrometeorite and it made a hole or if we had some type of toxic atmosphere. We use ammonia for our radiator, so there is a possibility that ammonia could come into the vehicle, and then it would be bad for all of us. If we have any of those problems, we come right here, which we call the central post. It is the main heart uh, of the space station. It was also the first computers that came up here that ran the space station. And so behind this wall right here are these main computers. So we gather here as a group of three or six and then figure out how we're going to either fight the fire, patch the hole, or solve the, uh, the toxic spill. And what's cool about this module, of course, it's the central post. It also has uh, great windows right down toward Earth. It has uh, controls to fly in uh, visiting spacecraft if they need uh, some assistance right here. It has Russian computers as well as American computers to help us control anything we need to on the space station. It's a couple of our crewmates back there, Oleg, Oleg Novinsky on the right and Yuri uh, Malenchenko on the left. And there's also a second bathroom here, which is really cool because six of us going to one bathroom is really tough. And so there's one bathroom here and one bathroom on the other side where I showed you. And you can probably see on the wall behind Oleg and Yuri, some of the heroes of the space program. Um, Korolev, Sergei Korolev, who was a chief designer of putting men into space. And of course, on the right-hand side, Yuri Gagarin, the first man to go into space. So just keep reminds of, of our roots. <laughs> Yuri, what are you doing? Что делать? Making coffee. Oh. Black. Black coffee. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> okay. Spasiba. We're going to check out our Soyuz real quick. Make sure it's ready to go. <laughs> All right, back to the Soyuz. I'm going to stop here just for a quick second. You can see on the Russian spacecraft, there's also other modules that stick out, down, and above. Uh, right here is, let's see, I'm trying to be oriented. That's a, a, um, a place where we do spacewalks from for the, Russian, for the Russian side. There's Russian spacesuits in here, and also a visiting vehicle which brought fruits and vegetables and becomes a trash container when we undock. Up on this side is also a future place where they're going to do spacewalks from, and connected to it is Kevin's, Oleg's, and Yevgeny's uh, um, uh, Soyuz spacecraft. And now we'll go see ours. Whoa! Oh. Is, is Venetia. 
Это пробка. getting in here. <laughs> this is the docking probe right here, this big thing. This helps us connect to the spacecraft. This probe actually sticks into this cone, and that's how the spacecraft, this, our Soyuz, becomes connected to the ISS initially. That is then replaced by clamps, which are around here that will allow the two spacecraft to be stuck together. And then you can remove the, the probe and the cone. <laughs> you okay? All right, so here we are in the Soyuz. This is what we call the BET-O, the living compartment, Bitovoy Atsek in Russian. Um, it also has a little bathroom. It's not as good as the other bathrooms. So we try not to use it too much. It has drinking water in it if we need something to drink. And then, of course, it's filled up with a lot of cargo uh, for us. Um, for us, bringing up and also bringing back down. It has a second purpose when it comes back to Earth. It serves as a um, garbage container. During the descent, we'll, we'll get rid of this, this area right here and everything that's in it will just burn up as it's coming into the atmosphere. So that way we can get rid of a little bit of trash. But the main area where we were on launch and where we are going to be on descent is down here because we're not part of the trash. So we're in a safe place. So we're in the descent module, SI. It's a little small, but you can get in. Not sure how well you could see in here. Hold on for a second. I'm going to turn it up this way, just so you could see the hatch and you could see Kevin. <laughs> it's a little bit small, but we'll we'll come in and show you around. You coming in? Probably not. Okay. Got to move a couple things. We were just starting to get ready. We pre were preparing a couple days ago for our ride home. It's a little bit squishy, but everybody asks, how do you sit in the Soyuz? And you sort of sit in your seat like this. The seat is molded to your body, and so you can just sort of squish in here and be pretty relaxed. Everybody has a handmade seat for them. And then, of course, there's a control panel, and that's where we do most of our actions and work right here. There's hand controllers, which you can fly the vehicle with. And there's a stick right here, primarily used for communications uh, when we're trying to talk to the ground. So three of us fit in here. Like I said, it's a little squishy, but uh, somehow it seems like we all managed to get in here and, and fit pretty well. And it's a pretty safe ride home. You're probably wondering, what's all this junk behind us? Well, it's all of our parachute, first of all, and then it's all of our survival gear, just in case we end up landing in some strange place on the planet and nobody's there to rescue us right away. We have all sorts of survival gear uh, with us, keeping us safe in here. So they've pretty much thought of everything. And uh, we'll be home on the planet within the next 12 hours. Pretty shocking. 